Hi, I'm Rachel Arnold. I'm with the Ladies Auxiliary with the um, Gideons, and today we're at Flag Day handing out Bibles. Um, we give out the Blue Testament in King Street. It's our Ladies Auxiliary's Workers' Testament, and we go around to the businesses and the medical facilities, and we hand them out to all the workers there, and that's the street one. This is the new Gideon app. You can, if you've got a smartphone, you can go on to the app depart store and download the um, Gideon app for the Bibles and it will read it to you or you can listen to it and it's got uh, several different versions and it's got the drama version which is interesting to listen to because it's not boring at all. Thank you. Hey, I'm Sumter Gray. I'm with the Gideon International of Kings, the King Street Camp. I'm currently here in Greeleyville, South Carolina at Greeleyville Flag Day. We are an association of Christian business and professional men dedicated to spreading the word of God through distribution of scripture and through personal witnessing. God bless and thank you very much. Uh, but some years back, uh, what we did was we brought in the big truck and used the back of the truck as a platform uh, where uh, the one-man band performed along with others who wanted to make presentations. And so the thinking is that we can do a little better, uh, that we can progressively improve that which we offer. Uh, and so Reverend McKnight and I have a special presentation uh, to help the town along the way. Uh, before we make the presentation, I'm going to ask Representative McKnight, if you don't mind, please, uh, to come and make a couple of brief remarks. Representative McKnight. Thank you, Senator Sam. Uh, good afternoon, good morning, Greeleyville. Good morning. It's always a pleasure to be the one of the, being here in one of the finest cities in my legislative district, District 101. On behalf of uh, the legislative delegation for Reverend Anderson, who's not present here today, we can be sends his greetings to you all, and we're all excited about what it is we're able to do here today in Greeleyville. Um, we get your calls, we get your letters, and we know that we need to bring home the bacon, so please understand that myself, Senator Sab, and Reverend Anderson are there working hard to make things happen for our communities, um, I think we're in a time now where you'll see a lot of progress considering the fact that you have the legislative leadership you have here and the fact that the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee is from Sumter and the Speaker of the House is from Darlington. So there's a lot of local love there. So I think we're on the cusp of a lot of great things and I think you just need to stay tuned, especially today as we make this announcement. Senator Sam. Thanks, Rev. And so we want to apologize for uh, C. Murray Boulevard not being complete. Uh, I want to thank those members of Greeleyville that constantly called and say, hey, we have got to pay C. Murray Boulevard. And so ideally, it would have been completed in time for Flag Day. But they ran into some structural issues. And so they had to stop construction, go get some additional material, so that when they do it, uh, it will be done and it will be done right and be there to serve this community for years and years to come. Uh, but I don't know how many of you have been over to St. Stephen's. I know Michael Nelson has been over there because he lives over there. But they've got an incredible structure, and I wish that the mayor had his, his rendering here so that you all could see uh, what we're contributing to is actually going to look like. Uh, I understand that it's going to cost how much, Mayor? So the total cost is $325,000. Uh, the mayor indicated to us that he needed an additional 150000 And so today, uh, Representative McKnight and I, on behalf of Representative Anderson, uh, we brought what we call the down payment uh, on the 150000 The additional 50000 has also been appropriated uh, already, and so that check is what they call in the mail, y'all. It is in the mail. But today, Mayor, members of council, We'd like you all to please accept uh, this $100,000 uh, donation towards this pavilion, and we know that it's going to be great to do this. And let me just say right quick, uh, the pavilion is, uh, and I don't have a drawing of it with me, but it's a start back here at the pavement, and it's going to be an area with a stage that can run 50 feet across and there's going to be a shelter that's going to be built up in the air, like where we're standing, up from about here back. Instead of us running around trying to find everybody in one area under the tree, 
we'll have this shed and shelter with stage and all that kind of stuff. We'll be to have everything underneath it. It won't have to burn out here in the sun. And it's going to cost us a little over $300,000 to do it. And we are pretty much where we need to be with the funds. And I grant you, next year when you come out here, you can be able to sit in the cool shed underneath the shelter, restroom facility, dressing room for firearms and all that. And this could be a nice scale of type structure. Something that we all here will be proud of. Thank you. Please share this video. Absolutely.